welcome to today's session of the class. Today I'm going to teach you how to find the vapor density of a gas when the relative molecular mass is given. Note that the relative molecular mass of a gas is equal to the vapor density of the gas multiplied by 2. That simply means that when you have the relative molecular mass of a gas, to find its vapor density, all you need to do is to divide the relative molecular mass by 2. And that is the vapor density. Let's quickly take a look at this question that says, given that 0.11 gram of a gas at STP has a volume of 56 cm cube, calculate the relative molecular mass of the gas and the vapor density of the gas. Let's quickly solve this problem. We are asked to find two things here. And two things were also given to us. Mass is given to us. Mass of the gas is given as 0 0.11 grams. Also, the volume at STP is also given. And the volume at STP is given to us as 56 centimeter cube. And we are asked to use these two things given to us here to find the molar mass of the gas and the vapor density of the gas. How do we begin? We need to find the mole first. Remember that mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass. If we find the mole and we have mass, we can find the molar mass. Recall, using volume at STP, we should recall that mole of a gas is equal to volume at STP divided by the molar volume of a gas. The molar volume. And remember that the molar volume is a constant, which is 22.4 dm cube when you're working with dm cube, or 22400 centimeter cube. Okay, now all we need to do is to do our substitution here. Mole becomes volume at STP, which is 56, divided by molar volume, which is 22400. Remember, I am working with centimeter cube. If I am working with dm cube, it will be 22.4. All right, this gives us our mole to be 0 0.0025 mole. Now that we have the mole, we can proceed in finding the molar mass of the gas. Now recall that mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass. If we make molar mass solid of formula, we are going to have that molar mass of a gas is equal to mass of the gas divided by the mole. Now, our molar mass becomes the mass which we are given here as 0 0.11 Why the mole which we got is 0 0.0025. That will give us, this divided by that should give us 44 grams per mole. Now that we have the molar mass, which we call the relative molecular mass of that gas, we can now find the vapor density. Recall that molar mass of a gas, or relative molecular mass, whichever one you call it, is equal to 2 multiplied by the vapor density. Here, my VD stands for vapor density. Now, making vapor density subject to formula simply means that the vapor density of the gas will be equal to the molar mass of the gas divided by 2. So, our vapor density becomes 44 all over 2. And that will give us 22. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to invite your friends to my channel. Keep subscribing with your friends and keep following us to learn more in chemistry. Thank you for watching.